Hello and welcome to Dig or Die. The next game we'll be playing on the channel. Although I Am Bread was an interesting game with weird controls, I uh, I think it was overall opinionated that it was a cute game and interesting, but we'd be better off looking for something new. Which, speaking of new, Dig or Die is a game that is on early access on the Steam on the Steams. <laughs> um, it came on early access at the beginning of last month, so it's a little over a month. Uh, a little over a month old. And, um, it's, uh, it looked interesting. It looked un interesting enough that I figured, well, why not give it a play? I haven't really heard much about it, and none of the YouTubers that I've subscribed to have played it yet, so I figured why not. Um, so, Dig or Die is in the spirit of the side-scroller survival game, similar to stuff like Terraria, um, but it's got its own spin on things, which we'll see as we get into it. Um, there's water physics um, with runoffs and such. Um, night times are apparently very hostile, and it's best to uh, build security during those times. And um, I think let's just get into it and figure out how things are. Um, I haven't had the chance to play the game just yet, so it will be sort of a first-time playthrough. Uh, what do we got? Peaceful, easy, normal, hard for... Uh, let's go with normal for now. Um, but this is a first time playing through it, so... We may derp up a little bit, and we may die. Um, I'm not sure if the game is hardcore or not. Um, or it's one of those things you die and respawn back at base. But, um... We'll figure that out, I guess. Plants growing. We are loading up the level, waiting for it to be ready. You are representative of the Craft & Co. You are selling uh, automatic fabrication tools across the galaxy until the day you crash on a dangerous wild planet. I don't want to stay. Oh, okay, we have a few items here. It looks like we have magnetic pickup. Don't worry about me just yet. Worry about saving, staying alive. Uh, okay, so what do we have? The planet data is on files and forms aggressive at night if you disturb them okay uh, still better than a wooden sword a medium bullet range high accuracy low damage the plasma rifle the miniature is our mini miniaturizer um, extracts removes and miniaturizes items and blocks for ease of transportation handy right click to use no need to select it okay that's good to know um, uh, let's see scrap metal pieces of metal scrap uh, must have come from the ship Auto builder. Play once. Uh, once placed, use E to interact with it to craft a variety of tier one items. Okay. Um. So we have our. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice plasma rifle. Okay. Oh. I think we're picking up some scrap metal here. Yeah. One of the, the comments that I was reading about the uh, the game was that it's uh, build digging is much much faster paced than uh. Than other games of the, the similar genre. Um, are you friendly? Oh, no, you're not. What did you drop? Uh, blue energy gem. A self-illuminated gem that slight energy uh, producing qualities emits a seething blue glow. Ah, how refreshing. <laughs> um, so, one thing that I w was reading about it is that it does... Uh, oh, yeah, see, this is the water runoff I was talking about. Uh, now, from what I've gathered... Um, I think it could eventually fill up this and overflow um, once it rains enough. So we'll have to keep in mind that uh, I assume you're not friendly either. Oh, oh, we're reloading. Oh, got no. What did it drop? Uh, uh, hound horn, a pointed horn that with it, it poisoned land, still intact. Uh, potentially useful for a bit of chemistry. Okay, good to know. Um, but from what I gathered, um, you, uh, it can potentially overflow stuff. <laughs> um, not that anything is friendly in this system thus far. Let's, uh, let's avoid these fish. Can I kill them quickly? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, they're not very friendly either. Doesn't look like so. Well, we got you cornered. You're a tanky one, aren't you? 
Get out of here. Do you drop anything useful? Doesn't look like it. All right. It looks like these guys might randomly spawn around. And it did look like they um, they dropped the blue energy gems, which I don't know what we're doing with the gems yet, or even the hound the uh, the hound's horns really. Uh, but it is oh. definitely something to look into. Ah, see, here we go. We got rain here. Ah, yeah. Look at this. This is overflowing and starting to flow into other stuff. All right. So this is where the title of the game kind of makes sense. Dig or die. Uh, I assume that we're gonna have to dig runoffs into the ground in order to uh, prevent uh, uh, us from getting overflowed. Oh, that's a new enemy. Um, I don't want to worry about you just yet. Come on. Oh, that was a new one, too. Oh. Oh, God, new enemies. Nope. Not yet. You guys... Oh, yeah, you're kind of tanky. Don't want to deal with you. The less I have to deal with you, the better. Oh, let's get up to the surface. Okay, so... It kind of looks like that potentially the further we go out, the more threatening the enemies are. Uh, so I'm going to <laughs> do my best to... Uh, oh, God, no! All right, fall damage is a thing. Note to self. Uh, let's try not to go out too far just yet. Not at least, not until we set up a base. Uh, maybe upgrade some stuff. We'll have to figure out what we can and cannot build through the uh, auto builder. Perfect. Another gem. Um, oh, ah, there we go. Let's get back over to our ship. Uh, looks like down here is our clock to tell us what time of day it is. Um, we are nearing the night time. Uh, we're over halfway through the day already. Um, let's take a look at our UCR. Guard wielder should be able to process something, something, something. <laughs> Did not have time to read that. All right, what do we got? Um, scrap metal. Looks like we can use scrap metal to build iron. Okay. Dirt to build empty bottles. Empty bottle plus a horn give a health potion. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, iron and a blue energy crystal for a plasma shotgun. Some wood for wood platforms, wood walls. Okay. Rotating turret. Okay. Um, this, I think, is going to be an important build for us. Um, let's build a couple of those. Um, let's go... We're nearing nighttime, um, and from what I saw from the at least the video on the page, uh, it looked like nighttime is a very, very hostile time. Uh, so let's build. We'll have to. I think we might have to try to try to. Okay, R does reload, like I was hoping. <laughs> It seemed like most of the keys worked as you would expect. A space bar to jump, R to reload. Okay, so we're going to have to soon prep for the night time. Uh, you gonna drop a crystal for me? No, of course not. Um, we're going to have to prep for a night time. Oop. See how terrible it is. <laughs> I might as well harvest some of this wood while I'm here. I'm wondering, I haven't seen any sapperlings yet, which is, you know, kind of one of the things you would expect from Terraria, which, again, this isn't Terraria. Uh, I wonder if it's one of those things that just grows on grass. Maybe the, um, these, are these bushes? Maybe these bushes grow into trees? Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out on these bushes just to see. Um, okay, we're nearing nighttime. Let's put a turret down here. Maybe one here. Uh, do I have enough? I might have enough for another one. Um, where did I put my... I did put here. Okay. Um, one, two. Nope. 
I don't know how threatening or how hostile these evenings are. Uh, so I will make four turrets. Um, I think that should be safe enough. <laughs> um, if we need more than four turrets, something's going wrong. Uh, but it is nearing nighttime, so I think we might be able to hold out for the evening. Um, kind of go from there. Oh, look, there's a little bit of groundwater here. Interesting. Okay. Um, we did get some dirt, though. What can we do with dirt again? Um, we make some bottle waters. We can make one of those. Which... Q. Q. I was kind of looking at the controls before. Q is our hotkey for healing. Good to note. Uh, can I pick up groundwater here? No. Okay. Well, nighttime is upon us. Or is about to be upon us. <laughs> so, well, my turrets will protect me for the evening. And if so, we'll be happy. Killing even one of them will provoke the entire species. Well, that's not good. Oh, damn. It's, hot. it's dark as hell at night. Okay. Aha. Okay, our projectiles, or projectiles in general, will uh, light up the way, along with these light bugs. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> Perfect. We can technically farm these uh, crystals <laughs> without having to try very hard. Because our turrets will farm them for us. Oh. Nope, take the hull down. That hole filled up really fast. Oh, and I have no way out now. All right, well, we'll figure out what we need to do. That's music. <laughs> Something hardcore with this music. So what else can we build? Um, we got down here. Um, auto builder. We have one of those, so we don't have to worry about that. Auto builder MK2 uh, to craft a variety of tier two items. That's good to get. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay, we'll have to go hunting for some more. Oh, we'll have to go hunting for some more scraps. Oh. But we do have the um, the blue energy gems in order to make our tier two. Saving game. Game successfully saved. Oh, so you survived the night. Well done. <laughs> Yay. All right. Well, we lived through one night. That's fantastic news. Um, oh, wow. Apparently, the enemies can dig. That. That's something special. That's... Okay, we're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, enemies can dig through terrain. Ooh. That's... That's rough. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Wow, you have some hella knockback on you guys. Piss off! Oh! 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 Alright, so we survived the first night. Ah! And I can't get my... Ah! How'd I do it before? There we go. So we've survived the first night. I can't imagine it's going to get much easier from that. But we do have almost the materials that we need to create our um, auto builder MK2. Our tier 2 auto builder. We'll have to. Oh god, those guys are chasing us. Hey! Woo, there's a lot of you. A lot of you. <laughs> and the ocean was polluted by the corpses of the enemies we've slain. May God have mercy on their souls. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see if I can 
I have the materials now to create our oh, uh, our MK2. MK2. Boop. So what do you got for me, MK2? We got... Oh, um, oh we're going to push away. No, no, no. That's not what I want. Um... Um, okay, let's let's try to get to. Okay, oh, it's not raining. Um, kind of. Oh, all this water runoff. That's brutal. Uh, MK2. Okay, let's take a look at the MK2. See what we have for new crafting recipes. Um, a miniaturizer MK2. Stronger. Uh, detomizer beam should work on rocks. Which, you know what, I never found out what I could and could not farm. I could farm this. I can't farm that. I don't know what this is. Can I farm that? Okay, no. Okay. So it looks like the basic supplies we can farm with the tier uh, tier 1 miniaturizer. We're going to need a tier 2 miniaturizer for the other stuff. Which, ah, uh, relatively cheap with a 2 cost gem. Let's do it. Okay. We have a tier 2 miniaturizer. Can we farm this now? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so we can farm these iron bits now. I wonder if this is going to drop it or it's going to float in the air. Oh, no, it's just going to pick it up. <laughs> All right, miniaturizer, level two. What do you have for me? Um, dweller armor. Uh, stylish. Reduces damage by one. It needs just a dweller, dweller, dweller shell, which we don't have. Uh, flashlight provides a decent amount of light around you. Must have must have for spelunkers this might be something definitely worth investigating into we need two more blue energy gems to create that uh lamps logs and blue energy gems okay those are probably going to act like our torches plasma machine gun low damage but a uh, pleasantly high rate of fire that oh okay we need red energy gems and coal ore which we don't have or haven't seen yet um Concrete wall, dirt, and stone, which we haven't seen. Stone yet, iron support, concrete block wall, Gatling turret. Ooh. Okay, we can make one of these in the MK3 auto builder. 30 iron, 20 coal, 5 blue flower. Definitely not something we've ah, seen yet. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye out for some of these supplies. Uh, for now... We're gonna want to build. Yeah, let's build one of these. Change the direction of facing. Okay, this is a single direction facing item. Um, we'll keep it for now as a means of safety. And let's continue exploring a bit. Um, we still need. Uh, what, what do we need? We needed. Uh, we needed. Oh well. We, now we need three more energy gems to make our flashlight i think that's probably gonna be one of the next uh means of uh or next not next means but next items of choice to gather for oh no damn you reload uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> take it take it hard all right mr tanky ass fish Let's dance. Dance the macabre. Can we kill you? There we go. Um, all right. Uh, what is this exactly? Stone. That's good to know. All right. Uh, we did need stone for... It kind of looked like an ice kind of thing, but we did need stone for um, some of our buildings. Let's grab a little bit more wood. Not that we particularly need it, but eh, why not? Okay, some more iron. We will grab that. There's no such thing as too much iron. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab this bad boy. Continue on with our adventures. Exploring. Out. And about. La 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 la. We are over halfway through the day. Never a good thing. But we do have the firepower to hope, hopefully support our adventures through the day. 
uh, once we get some uh, more crystals, we'll be able to... Oh, it's running off there. Once we get some more crystals, we'll be able to create ourselves a flashlight. And then I think we can do some spelunking. Oh, you're new. And you're much tankier than your your yellow... Oh, you shoot more times, too. Oh, oh. Drop a crystal? It looks like you did. Much tankier than your yellow brethren. And you shoot more too. <laughs> we'll grab some of this while we're up on the surface. And that is a big ass canyon there. Um now the question is, is that the end of the world or is it just um kind of a big canyon? I don't know if there's a potential other side to it. Can we see another side to it? Oh wait, there is another side to it. It's just a matter of figuring out how the hell we're gonna get over there. Okay. Now, do you guys? Oh, well, aside from shooting ah, harder, more, you have a greater chance of dropping ah, your gems. Well, you dropped a gem. That's fantastic. Uh, so, this water physics and the water runoff stuff reminds me of another game. I think, well, I think there is a bit of it in Terraria, but initially when I was watching the ah, preview video for this game, um, it reminded me of another game. Uh, one that I can almost guarantee that probably 99% of you have not heard of or have not played. Um, and it is a game called Clunk Endeavors, which was another... I'm trying to remember. I played this back in college, uh, back in 05, but sometime between 05 and 07. Much, much earlier than, um, much, much earlier than Terraria and the such. So it's, I don't know of other games that were predecessors to Terraria, um, but it was definitely one of the predecessors to Terraria. Um, Clonk Endeavor. If you do look it up, it is a free game to play. Um, and the controls are a bit wonky. Um, it is kind of an older game, so you kind of expect that. Ah. But it definitely has reminiscence of all this. And, you know, Clunk Endeavors had sand and gravel and such that would, if you dug out under it, it would collapse down. Um, so not only did it have the quote unquote water physics, but it had other. Oh, Jesus other block physics and we are getting close to nighttime let me get up into a relatively safe place and we're going to need to set up a fortification let's set up you here uh, you 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 and you um, which you're probably better off over here um, and I can't see. Perfect. <laughs> well, we'll wait a second until we can see. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so it looks like oh, any enemies that we did <laughs> become hostile towards at some point or another are now our enemies. Oh, our turrets. Oh, our health. Let's pop our potion. Oh! Alright! Oh! 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 This is not looking good. Oh! <laughs> I'm the goat. Um, I think the big thing is just, we just need to survive. If we can survive the night, we can... Oh god. Our... Look at the hell that these enemies done, have done to us. Now, I wonder if the, um, the red guys are going to spawn. Oh, yeah, they are totally going to spawn over here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. We're definitely going to have to keep that in mind. And so, it looks like any... Oh, boy. Any of the enemies that we did kill... Um, 
any of the enemies we did kill during the night time are gonna have a vendetta against oh jesus no oh. Oh. are gonna have some type of vendetta against us or at least their whole peoples oh it looks like it's daytime fantastic oh, oh, oh. nope going down and we're dead damn it okay well <laughs> That definitely gives us an idea of what to expect. Um, we definitely lived quite a bit of time there. Um, but that does give us an idea of and a better understanding of what we need to do. Um, night times, super threatening. We need to bunker down and secure ourselves. Um, only go out adventuring farther out to when we get to new enemies like the red red firefly wasp thingy um, when you have a much better um, means of protecting yourself and um, overall I think that's it but it does give us a better understanding of what to do for next time and I'm excited to look excited to play a bit more of this um, again if you guys if this seemed interesting to you there will be a link down in the description as to the Steam page for the game. Again, it is only $2.99, so it's a steal. And um, at least from what I've played so far, I would definitely recommend it to you guys um, for a nice, cheap game that uh, definitely has the difficulty there. <laughs> but thanks for joining, guys. As I mentioned with our last game, if you are enjoying the series, Leave comments as to saying, to saying so. Leave likes. If not, leave comments as well. Leave dislikes. The more likes and dislikes I get for the series, and the more comments I get for the series, the more I know whether you guys will enjoy the series or not enjoy the series, and whether to continue on after we complete it, uh, we after we do our next episode. Again, this Tuesday Thursday slot is for you guys. So if you guys are enjoying it, leave comments. If you guys aren't the same thing and uh we'll find something you guys enjoy and if not we'll continue playing new games but that's gonna do it for today guys thanks for joining as always if you have any comments questions suggestions or feedback feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below as always this is rock and i'll catch you guys next time bye